Oh, good evening, ladies. Good night, Beyonce. Good night, toys. Oh, gosh, you ladies look so fabulous. I want to thank you guys for coming. Even you overdose, I love your outfit. Woo! Oh, gosh, and I also want to say a special thanks to Avis Lorraine Decor Service. You put your hands together for them. They're not here, but I think they did a great job. And I, I, I'm so speechless right now. I think it's so beautiful. And I also like to thank Toys for having us here and hosting this little celebration well, here. Well, you know, it wasn't an easy fit for me to get here, you know, because I had to slip out of the UN function. They had a little cocktail party for us. So, you know, I am I would like to get some appreciation to... Um, well, thank you, Norris. Thank you very I much. I time off of my busy schedule. And we really appreciate it. Thanks, my love, yes, you know. And, also, and, and, and but, but let's let you know, you could have been anywhere in the world, yeah. Norris, but you choose to be here with us, and we appreciate it, guys. That's Put your hands true. together for Noreen. Don't worry, love. I, I will send you a card and show my appreciation, right? Oh, Norris, we, we, we wouldn't do nothing or be anywhere without you. That's All right? Thank you very much. Anyways, I'm really glad you guys are here. So I'd just like to share this little story with you. Take well, your time, baby. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Thank you, bestie. Well, you see, when I lost my mom to breast cancer, I was 10 years old. And, you know, I remember before she got sick, the type of woman she was. A big, bold woman. You know, she always liked to wear bright colors and always singing and she always had a big bright smile for me you know she she taught me to love myself for who i am and she always showed me love and even though we were poor she always tried her best to to provide for us and she always whatever little we had she always make it do and she always make sure that she provided for me and, you know, I just love my mom so much. And I appreciated everything she did for me. So, the last memories of my mom, so the last, the last memories of mom, She didn't even look like herself in the hospital. She was lying there on the hospital bed. She could hardly talk. I remember going with my granny to the hospital and I used to sit in the corner. And I used to watch granny cleaning her and combing her hair. She was like a little child. When she died, it felt like the whole world had ended. But guess what? Life was still going on. People were still going to work. I've been staying up all night. And after one week of the funeral, I I started on back to school. I've been asking every question. But I wish the world had come to an end. Because I haven't got a clue. Because Yes, I was hurting. I was in pain. And I wanted everyone to feel the pain I was feeling. I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. But life goes on. And it wasn't for my granny. But I ain't got nothing there. I don't know what would have happened. So I'm sorry she's not here tonight, but I would have loved to tell her how much I'm grateful for her. And I appreciate everything she do for me. And she never allowed me to feel like the motherless child I was. 
I'm sorry she's not here with us and I really wanted to tell her in person among you guys that I love her and I appreciate her so much. But she could not be here right now because she can't deal with this whole thing here right now. And she would have gotten real emotional and I didn't want that. Anyway, um, enough about that. I want to thank you guys for being here and I just want to let you know that I love you all. I love each and every one of you and I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Even you, Stacey. Although you're from under the clock. I love you. Too. We appreciate you. <laughs> so guys, I, that's why I invited you guys here so you guys could, in memory of my mom and all those who lost their life to cancer and who are battling with cancer. So we have a beautiful young lady in our midst here right now, tonight. Um, we're going to call her up here, Miss uh, Sandia Alicock from the SRHR Adventure Organization. And she's going to come up here and demonstrate to you guys to let you know to how you could search for certain signs and look for lumps and certain things and demonstrate to you in terms of finding early signs and don't wait for it's too late. All right. Okay, ladies. So put your hands together for Miss Alicock. Please come. All right. Beautiful young lady. I will need a volunteer to do a demonstration. Well, I make a really great volunteer. Let me tell you something. I recently trained in Hollywood with Steven Spielberg. So, ask no further. I'm here. Noreen, once again, saving the day. Thank you very much. I was much. supposed to come up here, right? I, I, I can take a seat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Leave, leave the things to the professionals. You know, one time I met Martin Scurs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very nice. I think so too. I am going to be doing a demonstration to show you guys. Can you put the glass away, please? Give me the glass and just turn and look at the good one. <laughs> okay, so first of all, there are two components in doing a self breast examination there is the seeing and the feeling. So for the first component, which is the seeing, you will need to remove your shirt, your top, or your oh, bra. We're not, we're not doing that. No, here. I am not removing your clothing. That, I'm just. No, 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 please don't. We don't want anything to be falling down and touching the ground and tripping down people and so forth. So just, <laughs> just leave on the clothes and leave on the top. For the... It's not a joke. Oh. I want to understand. <laughs> just, just demonstrate. Okay. Okay, so when you, after removing your clothing, you can either stand or sit in front of a mirror mm -hmm. and you put your hands straight up, okay, like straight this. up, like all the way up. But that isn't straight? Yes, but oh. I'm asking you, you to do it. <laughs> okay, so when you put your hands straight up, mm -hmm. it gives you the opportunity to see your breast at a wider angle. And you look to see if there's any difference between the two, that is not usually there. Oh. For example, when you lift your hands up, you would see the masses of your breast underneath. And you will look to see if there's any lumps, if there's any redness, if there's any swelling, if there's any rashes or flakiness around the nipple area. Right? Mm -hmm. So after doing that, you tend to turn to angles, like to the side, and you can see yourself in the mirror. Right? There's so you no can mirror. see. Show me where you there, home Okay, so when you turn to, to different angles, mostly to the sides, you are allowed to see from under the under the arm because there are usually lymph nodes there that can form lumps. Oh. Okay. For the second component now, which is the feeling component, you will need to lie down, probably. I'm not lying here. No, you, you don't need to lie. Oh, okay. But you'll need to lie down. Mm -hmm. When you lie down, you, you place the pillow under your head to prop yourself up. You place one hand behind your head, correct? Mm -hmm. And you use the other hand to do the examination. Usually okay. three fingers. Oh. Three, you use three, three of your first it's, fingers. But it's three. Yes. You oh. don't ever use one or two because using two fingers 
can make you separate breast tissues that may make you feel things that are not really there. I knew that. That you think are there, but it's not really there. Okay, so you use three fingers, and there are two techniques. Two techniques that you can use. It's either the circular technique or the up-down technique. I would much advise for you to use the circular technique. Now, when you're using the circular technique, you usually start from the collarbone, from the collarbone here. Mm -hmm. Then you come down to the sternum, here. to the sternum, right? Then you come mm -hmm. across to the mid chest, mm -hmm. right up onto the underarm. You're supposed to have your hand behind your neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I knew that. And then you keep going in a circular motion until you reach the inside at the nipple. Mm -hmm. Now you're looking for anything that's unusual. Mm -hmm. And lumps that may range from being a pea size to probably the size of a marble or the size of a walnut. All right, oh, thank wow. you very much. You're uh, welcome. Tell Nuri, sit down, no, she ain't order yet. Um, thank you very much, please put your hands together. All right, yeah, just put your hands together you. for Miss India. I thank you very much for coming and sharing for me. <laughs> I was her handy helper. And put your hands together for Noreen, too. Yes, Noreen. Yeah, you did well. You did well. You know a lot. Thank right. you. Thank you. Plus, yeah, yeah, sit down with your old breast. I mean, sit down and rest yourself. <laughs> no, it's this you drink. The auntie give. Look, your drink. The girl, the nice lady got your drink. Oh, this is her drink. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, so thank, thank you. But, guys. Thank you. So, guys, we have some gifts here for you. <laughs> Yes, yes. 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 So, we have some beautiful yes. guests for you, beautiful lady. Yes. All right. So, here you go, Norris. This is for you. And I'll take this for you, man. This, this isn't quite my taste, but I'll, I'll do make do. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of taste. Thank you very much. Right. Stacy, okay. collect your thing. Thanks. Stacy, high five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get things. Get things. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, we like things. Here you go. Here you go. Ah, yeah. there's a special one with extra things. As yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, I like your thanks. Best. I would advise you to look yourself in the mirror steady because I don't think. And this is why I get your mirror because I don't think you look at yourself and so so. Thanks. You know, you must look at yourself. Bag doesn't have a mirror. Me or neither, you know, Nori. It's just for me. All right, we got we got different things for everybody. Anyway, forget about this right now. Um, okay. you guys have your gift. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have a next surprise for you guys. Oh, yes. So ladies, please put your hands together for the one and the only Diana Chapman. Yay! Yay. The beautiful, Ooh. come on, come true, my love. <laughs>
Perhaps the greatest truth of man's strength is the ability to rise above. No matter what you're going through, no matter the challenges to come, we will always rise above. Oh